What if Professor Sada and Turo were never killed by the other Koridon and Maridon? Would the main protagonist still have to battle them to decide the fate of Paldea? I don't know. Would the endgame story have been better or worse as a result of them still being alive? Uh, I don't, I don't know. Well, let's just uh, see what I can think of. As I'm sure you're all aware, the final boss to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet isn't the professor in their original form, but rather an AI built by the original to resemble them in every way. An AI that actually wanted to stop the original professor's dream of allowing the Paradox Pokemon to roam freely across Paldea, but was forced into fighting the game's protagonist due to the Zero Labs programming that they couldn't break free from. A fight that I think will go down in history as one of the coolest final boss fights in a Pokemon game. So would the professors still being alive change that? It's a bit hard to say to be honest, but before I get into that, don't be a stranger to hitting that subscribe button with the notifications turned on for more Pokemon and other Nintendo related gaming content like this in the future. So the core event that would need some adjusting to not change the original story origins too much is for Sada and Toro to survive the injuries they received from Koridon or Maridon in the attack on Research Station 4. Potentially being nursed back to health by either their AI clone or other research assistants that were in Area Zero with them. With the two versions of the Professor still being alive, that would bring an even higher risk to Paradox Pokemon reaching Paldea's surface. Meaning, I think other versions of Koridon and Maridon, the ones you journey with, would still hightail it out of Area Zero because of their struggle over territory down there. With the original Professor still being super obsessed with the Paradox Pokemon, as well as the story wanting to keep their true plans under wraps until the end game, I'd say the original Professor Professor would still contact the protagonist the same way the AI did at the beginning of the game, essentially asking you to look after Koridon or Maridon for the time being until they're able to get back to their full power via eating the Herba Mystica. But rather than checking in with you through the Rodom phone like the AI did after each Titan Pokemon was defeated, the real Professor could meet up with you face to face. They'd have the option to do that since the AI technically can't leave Area Zero due to the abundance of Terra Crystals down there being the only reason it's able to function in such an advanced way, even having its own conscience that differs from the original professors. Plus, it could serve as a chance for Arvin and his parent to attempt to reconcile with each other after being apart for so long, with each Titan defeated, sparking a different conversation between the two to get closer to healing their relationship. Of course, I don't want to rule out the possibility of the OG professor just doing exactly what the AI did and contacting you over the phone still. Staying in Area Zero to do more research, it's still very in character for the original, so. Although they always had the option to go back to the surface prior to their death, they still hardly did. I think personally, I would have liked if the professors were able to come up to the surface during the story to have their characters explored a bit more than they actually were, but I suppose that's just a preference thing since I'm sure there's folks out there that preferred the professors being shrouded in more mystery than any other mainline Pokemon antagonist thus far. Also, if it wasn't clear by now, I don't believe the Victory Road paths or the Starfall Street paths would have changed in any way if the original professors were still alive. They served zero involvement in either of those story paths, so I think it's safe to say the game's protagonist would have conquered the Pokemon League and Team Star squads all the same. The Way Home storyline, on the other hand, could definitely see some changes. Uh, for instance, the original professor could actually be accompanying the player and Arvin instead of Penny and Nomoda. Those two could still come in theory, but a lot of their original dialogue would have to change. No more ranting to each other about their parents as if Arvin's isn't just literally standing there with them. <laughs> the main reason Penny and Nomoda were even brought along in the first place was because the AI thought it would be best to have as much manpower as possible, so the chances of shutting down the time machine would be borderline guaranteed. With the OG still alive and well, they obviously don't want the time machine to be shut down, but are rather going back down to Area Zero to put the finishing touches on their dream. And when better to start, now that the versions of Koridon and Maridon are back to their full potential. Upon arriving to the Zero Lab, you'd still be greeted by the AI, perhaps either the AI explaining how it functions itself or the original professor doing it for them. Once everyone's inside the machine chamber, this is where the original will reveal their true intentions with the Paradox Pokemon, how they want them to live in harmony with the present day Pokemon regardless of what it'll do to Paldea's ecosystem. System. A reveal like this would likely shock Arvin more than anyone, feeling like he'd finally started to rebuild the relationship with his parent just for it to feel like it didn't really mean anything at all, and it was just a way for them to get closer to achieving their scientific dream. However, since the AI revealed the original professor did truly love Arvin uh, in the original story, even if they had a funny way of showing it, perhaps they could defend themselves in a way where they don't look like a total tool, saying something along the lines of, Arvin, my child, make no mistake, I truly did treasure the time we got to spend together recently in an attempt to make up for lost time but I've worked too hard and long to abandon my dream when I'm this close to achieving it. And that sounds like it could be said in a Pokemon game, right? <laughs> this followed by a cutscene where 
tons of Paradox Pokemon start to flood out the machine, where you'd have to battle them alongside Arvin and maybe Penny and Emota too. Similarly to how the actual story had you battle some prior to even entering the Zero Lab. And I think it'd be cool if some of these released Paradox Pokemon from the Time Machine could actually be available as like static overworld encounters on Paldea's surface to just maybe add a little bit of extra post-game content, just so they're not only available in Area Zero, you know what I mean? As for the AI, I could see it attempting to negotiate with the Professor about stopping the machine after the current hordes of Paradox Pokemon are defeated down there, leading to the real Professor forcing the AI to go into defense mode. Whether either the AI would battle you the same way it does in the proper version of the story, or what I think would be the cooler between the two, the AI and the real Professor initiating a double battle. Those two versus you and Arvin. Each of them using three Paradox Pokemon each. I think it would be the most fitting for the original to be the one commanding Iron Valiant slash Roaring Moon in particular, since it's the strongest of the bunch. As for the Coridon slash Maridon battles versus themselves, I think a cool change could be both the AI and the original commanding the legendary Pokemon together, with both versions being overtaken by the Terror Power to add a bit more intensity to it. The Terror Crystals overtaking just the AI was pretty crazy to begin with, but imagine it overtaking an actual human being too, with said human being not even resisting it. That would make it a lot more intense in my eyes. Plus, the two of them commanding the legendary at the same time could be used as a reason to make the fight harder. Due to how this fight works in the original story, you're essentially guaranteed to win due to your version of the legendary refusing to die and getting stat boosts whenever your rivals cheer you on. With this headcanon version, you'd be forced to strategize more since you could actually lose. Winning this fight could either result in the AI being broken at the very least or both of them surviving completely, the original realizing their wrongdoings after all the recent events unfolded, vowing they'd rather work on restoring their family than putting 99% of their focus into research. And if the AI survived, they could just take the original Sada or Toro's place and just make sure things don't get too out of hand with the Paradox mods. So in conclusion, what would happen if Sada and Toro had survived their injuries and played a role in the present day story of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Well, if the events ended up playing out similarly to the scenarios I brought up today, then the story for this game would be a hell of a lot more similar to Pokemon Sun and Moon's original story, but with the main antagonist being less flat-out evil like Lusamine was for a while, and that woman tried to completely disown her children in real time. For my personal take on this story after everything's been laid out, I, I think it's got its pros and cons for sure. Having more of that connection to the original Professor if you're able to physically see them prior to the Area Zero storyline would have been nice, but at the same time, them being dead this whole time before Arvin got a proper chance to say goodbye to them definitely hits home. Yeah, they got to say bye to the AI, but it's, it's not the same. And you can't even see the AI anymore because they went to the past, future, or imagination land. At least he's still got Mabostiff. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other ideas of how Scarlet and Violet's story could have changed if the professors were still alive for it. I'd love to know your thoughts. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below. It helps out a ton. But for now, I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>